My name is Meng Luo, and I'm talking to you today about chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. CTE is a neurodegenerative disease caused by multiple hits to the brain, which may be subconcussive, leading to a pathological state of atrophy, bleeding, and bruising of the brain. This can then lead to neurological symptoms and depression. The diagnosis of CTE is confirmed by examining the brain pathology postmortem. CTE is characterized by deposition of a protein called tau, which causes brain damage, not dissimilar to what we see in Alzheimer's disease. Three years ago, the New York Times published an article demonstrating that out of 111 NFL footballers, 110 of them, in fact, developed CTE. More recently in Australia, Danny Froy, who played football for St Kilda, was also demonstrated to have CTE. This then begs the question of how many more Australians who play football and rugby, as well as other contact sports like soccer, may be suffering from CTE. There are also many women and children, now potentially, who could be also suffering from CTE. Seven years ago, our team published a paper demonstrating there were neuroimaging findings in the brain in contact versus non-contact sports. This is using a technique called diffusion tensor imaging. Recently, our team at Monash University have demonstrated that there are areas of cortical atrophy in the frontal and prefrontal areas of the brain following concussion. This, along with some serum protein biomarkers, have been shown to be abnormal in CT and contact sports. There are a number of groups at Monash University interested in research in concussion and CTE. Sandy Schultz and Rochelle Machasik, who lead the Monash Neurotrauma Group, are working on blood and saliva biomarkers, as well as some preclinical imaging in concussion. Myself and David Wright lead a group of imaging specialists who are looking at preclinical and clinical imaging abnormalities in CT and concussion. Owen White and Joe Fielding lead a oculomotor group who are looking at the eye tracking abnormalities in CT and concussion. All codes of football are continuing to invest in scientific research including MRI studies, hoping to track brain changes in players in the immediate post-period concussion. Studies of blood and saliva bi biomarkers, as well as eye tracking, are also being done. This will all lead to hopefully finding a way to protect players in contact sports. We hope to improve practice and in-game monitoring of concussion and safety protocols. We hope to individualize protocols for each player based on individual susceptibility, clinical findings, genomics, imaging, and fluid biomarkers. If you'd like to learn more about the research we're doing on CT concussion at Monash University, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.